Hi, I'm Ahmed. I'm a certified instructor at ASM Educational Center. Today I'm going to talk about Cisco IP SLI configuration. Now this concept can be on your CCNA or CCMP routing exam. So, but let me tell you what that is. This is similar to the framework is. Now remember that from the back framework that look what I said that Cisco IP SLI is called service level agreement. It's very similar to concept of framework. Like commitment, committed information rate, CIR. That is your service provider ISP will tell you that you're guaranteed to get a particular bandwidth from there. So it's agreement between you and service provider uh, with the minimum value of something, but you can go higher values. Same concept applied to IPSLA. IPSLA is set up as concept two parts, source and what? Responder. We're going to do lab right now like an agreement between source and responder. We will do a lab on it, but we will use the concept of ping. See, when I put a question mark later on the lab, I can choose of FTP or HTTP and so on. What we're going to do, we're going to do a small lab. Router 1 with IP SLA source 200.11 and router 2 SLA responder, okay? So, back to our GNS3. Router 1, connect to router 2. This is 2. Dot one 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 and this is two hundred one one dot two. This is source as responder. Okay. Basically, what I did, I go to router one right now. I already give IP address. I just want to make sure I can ping the other side. Ping. The dot one dot one dot two. See, I can ping. Life is good. Now, what are we going to do in my notes? As we see that, we're going to make router one becomes a what? Source. How do you do that? You're going to say IP SLA question mark. What you do, you got to pick one of the numbers. This number later on, and later on, we need this schedule, okay? So I'll go to router one right now. Pick SLA question mark. So you're going to start with the number. We need this, and later I need the what? Schedule, okay? Here, question mark. Here, when I put a question mark, as I told you that for this lab, we're going to do ICMP echo lab. You can do FTP, HTTP, any of these, you can do that. But what we're going to do, we're going to say ICMP echo question mark. Uh, this is destination. I'm a router one. I want to make sure I've connected to router two. So I'm going to put 100.1.1.2. That's my router two is. Question mark. I can see which source interface, or I can just press enter. So what I'm going to, just going to press what? Enter. Yeah. So that's what we did in our notes right now here. IPSLA like that, okay? Again, I can do a lot of stuff, but we will do simple pink, right? ICMP question mark, okay? Now what I'm going to do, set the frequency test between router one and router two. Default value is 60 seconds. Because what's going to happen, they're going to send a ping echo. We want to make sure that there's a, there's a connectivity. What are we going to do here when we put a question mark? I'm going to use the word what? The default value is what? 60 seconds. So let's put that right now. I put a shift question mark. I see one of them is what? Frequency. Frequency question mark. 60 question, 60 second question mark, enter. Now what's going to happen? This is my what? All this. Look at this. Why is it Control Z? Show sure run. Now look what happened. I go down, down, down. Under where? IPSLA. It does not show up. Why? Because this is default. Remember, that default does not show up. So let's go make it 30 second. So that means after 30 second, we're going to see some kind of like a frequency. All I have to do is config the IP SLA under that, then I put frequency. Back again. IP SLA one, enter. I put a question mark, then I'm going to put what? Frequency. Now, when I put a question mark, let's put 30 seconds. Now look at this Control Z, show run. Yeah. Not 30 shows up because 60 is a what? Default value, okay? So that's what happened right here. See, 60, default value is a 60, okay? 60, when I see show right, it doesn't show up, so I change it to what, 30 seconds. When I change it, see, this is the default, it doesn't show up, so I go back here, IPSLA, frequency 30, 
Ashuron shows like this. Now we go to what? Global configuration and schedule this set to run right now. So we have to schedule it. So again, we go IPSL like question one. We're gonna we don't we're not gonna use a number anymore. We're gonna use schedule, okay? One again, big D I P S L A question mark. So I'm going to use what schedule question mark. Now you got to use the number. Then what number am I going to use? One question mark. I have a bunch of choice. I have a live start time. I'm going to use the start time. Doesn't matter. You can play around with these start time question mark. Okay, then I'm going to say what in my lab. I say what now. I said now. And I see that's it. Now, then I press what? Enter. Check it out. Control Z, show run again. Let's see what we have so far. This is my IP SLA. So SLA 1, ICMP, this is the destination router 2. Every 30 seconds, because do that and IP SLA schedule. When is going to start? Time right now, because we can schedule later on, okay? That's what we have in my notes so far. Let's look at a bunch of show commands, which is very good. We have the show command is called show IP SLA configuration. It shows you what you have done, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do, you do that, you're gonna see your number. Now here it says the target address. Now if I didn't put a source address, which I did press enter, it's gonna have a zero zero, which we're gonna see right now. Back to my router, so I'm going to show IP SLA. IP SLA, what? Question mark, one of them is, which we did that, we want to do what? Configuration. Then I do configuration. That's what happened. 30 second, okay. Active, okay, and it shows you what's happening, statistic like that. All right. That's what that is right here. All right now, I can see next schedule start time is already passed. It means it started. Some places it already passed. Yeah, right here. See next schedule is already passed. That's what it shows right there. Okay. And it, you have 200 which we have it here at the beginning. And one 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 that's it was source addresses that's target address and that's source since I did not give a source address it's going to put all zero 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 okay it says that next schedule time already what they already passed that same thing again okay all right another show command Show IPSLA statistic. This is good command is to find out what's happening. Show IPSLA statistic. When I press that, look what happened. It shows you number of success five, number failure is what zero. Does that mean life is good? It's talking. It shows that what operation mode is what okay. So life is what? Good right now. If I wait 30 seconds, let's use upper key. Six. Now if I use again, see six, six. I have to wait what thirty second. If I use upper key again, you see six here. So let's wait a few more seconds because I put the timer what thirty second. So right now life is what good. What happened? It went to seven right now. Okay, that's what I did here. I keep changing. It was twenty two. Then it went twenty three. Four. Okay. Int. You made a mistake, IPSLA, you cannot edit it. Let's see what I meant. So what I'm saying, if I say show run, let's say I made a mistake in this guy. I cannot change that. But I'm saying that, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say if you made a mistake here, you want to change this or change that. If you want to change these numbers, you have to do it again one more time, okay? SLA. One. That more, I'm going to change the frequency. I cannot change that. It's already running and cannot be modified. Why? Because I start running that, okay? 
when you start running that, in order to do that, you have to do the whole process again. Then you have to say IP SLF 2 or 5, and then you can change this number. Because why? Because it starts running. Because we started start running, okay? So I did not go, watch this. I did not go to destination R2 and do IP SLF responded. That's why you have to do sometimes. Since I was running basic ICMP echo test, I did need to do this since the respondent can handle ping it. Other tests, we need to go to router 2 and do the command IPS of the responder. Here, we don't have to do that, okay? Why? Because it's simple ping is. Now, let's test it. Let's go to router 2 and shut down the port F01. See what's going to happen. So, this is before the changes. Look at this before the change. This was one failure because I was testing. Now I'm going to go to router 2, I shut down the port. Now when I type in show that, see the failure, I had one failure before because it was a test process, it went to 2. Then it went to the what? Number what? 3. So let me test it right now. Router 2, show IP INT brief. IP is right now is good, okay? And let's go back to router 1 right now. Z. Show IP SLA what? Statistic. Life is what? 11 is good. There's no zero right here. See that? Turkey. Life is good. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to router to right here. Config. INT. Let something happen to router what? 2. There's no connectivity. There's no ping. So I'm going to shut down what? Back to router one, upper key. Still change it. Let's just wait. Second. Wait. Second. See it right now? Number failure is what? One. Back to upper key. I just have to wait more 30 seconds. Look at here. Latest RTT no connection busy or timeout so it's no connectivity before life was good was what it says what latest RTT to 39 minutes so it gives some value right here it was one let me use our power key it is RTT what no see that we have a fault fairly if I use our power key if I wait 30 more seconds, that's a few more seconds, let's wait. Okay. All right, so it changed to three now, okay? That's what we have right here, a lot of problem, okay? Now, I go to R2 and I put IPS respond on the global configuration. Again, I can do that too, okay? So I'm going to give no shot. Again, this is not necessary, but we can do that too. So, no shot first. Okay. Again, then I'm going to say well, IP SLA what? Question number, what number I use? I use, I press the question mark, I'm sorry, I didn't use the number. Question mark, I use what? Responder, that's all you have to do. Enable what? Responding. Question mark, that's it. Again, this is not necessary for this time, as you see it was working right now, okay? But in the other one test, you have to do that, like FTP, HTTP, all that good stuff. Now we are, so now step five, we're gonna secure SLA config with the keychain IP SLA keychain command. But before we do that, let me make sure life is good. Let me go to router one. Go IP SLA statistic. Of life. Let's see. This is good. Up because I changed it to F00 no shot on router two. Life is what. Next step is I'm going to use some kind of security between router 2 and router what? 1. We can secure our SLA config with what? Keychain and IP SLA keychain commands. 
make sure the key string, key string is your password is, is the same. Name which is CCMP1 and CCMP2 are local system, but the key has to be what? The same. So I'm going to explain to you. The other one, I'm going to do like this, config T, question mark. Name, question mark, CCMP1, question mark. This is for router one is. So this name is local significance on router one. On router two, I'm going to use CCMP2. I have to say what? With this, I'm going to say question mark. Then you're going to see choice of key, question mark. Then I put key number one. Now this key one has to match the other side. When I put a question mark here, you're going to see key string. Key string is your lovely password. When I put key string, I put a test. Of course, this password has to be the same on the other side. Okay? Then what you do, you're going to say, what? Well, IP, SLA, key change, CCMP1. Okay, so when I say short run, it's going to be like this. It's going to be a router one, keychain, question mark, CCMP1. Again, this is local. So this name has to match with this name. This key one has to match with other key one, router two. This password has to pass to other router two. So let me go to router one right now. Step by step. Big T. Question mark. Chain. You need name. Capital CCMP1. Router one is. Question mark, I need a key. Now here's what's important about key. But this key number has to match with the other side. One. If I use five, the other side should be five. For six, six. Question. Now when I put a question mark, what you need key string. Key string is your password, which I use capital test. Ah, then I'm going to say config T. I'm going to IP SLA under IP SLA. IP SLA question mark. Now you got to kind of bind it to to that keychain question mark. Now I better use the same name I use what here. CMP one. So this name is very important right here. Go run. This is keychain CCMP1. This is local signals and the other router screen with CCMP doesn't matter. This one has to match the router two. And this test has to match that. It comes down, 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 down. Then in IPSLA, which is right here, IPSLA what? Chain down. Okay? That's router one right now. Down, I do same thing on what router two. I do the same thing on router 2. Let me bring it here so you can see it. Here's my short run for router 2. It's okay. Now look at router 2. I'm going to use key change CCMP2. This is local significance. This has to match with router 1 and this has to match with router 2. And this name, CCMP2, has to match with here. Router 2. So key question mark. What do you need? Chain question mark. What do you need? Name, CCMP2, local significance, okay? Question mark, what do I need? I need what here? E. Question mark, I better use what? One, same as the router one. When I put a question mark, what do I need? Key string. Anytime you see key string, that's your password. Question mark, I better use the same as test, the other side. That's it. Type in IPSLA question mark. Now I better use what? And question mark. I better use the same name. What name I'm going to use? CMP2 right here. CMP2. Let's check the work. Show sure run. significance this one has to be same as router one and this should be same as router one remember I'm router two right now come down CMP has to match with what this one. Okay. all right that's that one right now we're going to do check what make sure see if it's working show IP SLA statistic so I'll go to router one again
example, IPSLA, what? Statistic. Yeah. 24, 25, let's see. Upper key. Second. See that ladies, our round time is good. So that means they're talking. Upper key. Second, let's just wait. It was 24 is what 25 and there's no failure why is that because the password is same and the keyword is the same okay and the key is when I say show run on router one this name is local significance that means and router one has to be router one router two could be anything CCMP2 but this key this key has to match with the other side and when I go down to IPSLA this is for router one has to match in top this is a frequency and this is schedule and start time right now okay so that's all it is right here see 60 as we see 60 was then I went down I, actually I did this again what happened here you notice I removed IPS with no command and I rebuilt it again that's why it started from number again that's why I start from low number again five seven and so on okay so that conclude this now, in the next lab, I'm going to do another video. We can use this concept IPSLA for tracking, which is very important. Next concept, we're going to do that. So, but what's going to happen, if you go to our website, www.asme.com, under blogs, you see we have a bunch of CCNA, CCMP. This blog is going to be added right here under CCNA. When you click on that one, you can see everything. You're going to see the blogs, you're going to see the notes, you can see all the notes, and also at the bottom of that, you're going to see video. So later on, we're going to post this on the video. I hope this was helpful, and thank you, and have a good day. Bye.